Will the Abrams X be able to truly change the atmosphere of the Russian-Ukraine war? Well, for now, all we know for sure is that the introduction of the Abrams X and the numerous improvements that have been woven into the platform is changing how the Abrams tank and heavy armor are used in American combat operations. General Dynamics Land Systems GGLS, and the U.S. Army have been collaborating in recent years to create and deliver several new cutting-edge Abrams tank versions, including the V3 and V4M1A2 SEP tanks. These brand new tanks have several groundbreaking innovations that are crucial to armored warfare in the 21st century. GDLS is currently attempting to build on these advancements with even another, even more sophisticated Abrams X model. The latest advances in the Abrams X are anticipated to significantly increase the tactical effectiveness of the heavily armored platform, as evidenced by a demonstrator unveiled at the 2022 Association of the United States Army Annual Symposium. The hybrid electric drive, a propulsion technology capable of greatly improving fuel efficiency while improving survivability with lower acoustic and thermal signatures, may be one of the biggest and potentially most significant advancements woven into the Abrams X. Although hybrid propulsion can reduce a vehicle's environmental impact, General Dynamics weapons developers highlighted that the majority of its use is tactical. A hybrid system will significantly reduce the logistics footprint, improve fuel efficiency, and improve survivability in several crucial ways. A smaller, leaner logistical and resupply trail creates fewer targets for an enemy and keeps more soldiers away from enemy fire. In terms of tactics, a hybrid system also permits a silent watch, the capacity to operate sensors and weapons without giving off a thermal or auditory trace. This vastly increases the operational envelope of the vehicle, while also increasing lethality and survivability. Third-generation forward-looking infrared sensor FLIR, targeting systems, which enable substantially longer range and high-resolution targeting to armored offensive attack missions, significantly increase these benefits. The Abrams X platform would utilize the third-generation FLIR. That is a tremendous advancement in capacity. Being a tanker, I would say that this capability would be obvious and would undoubtedly be the greatest in the world. The V3 and V4 Abrams tanks are unquestionably wholly new vehicles when compared to the original 1980s-era platform since new sensors, guns, data links, command and control, armor protections, and onboard electrical power systems have all been completely overhauled as though the platform were new. It appears that heavy platforms, although working within specific constraints, can work in concert with automated vehicles, unmanned systems, and quicker and lighter attack platforms to give fast-moving troops unparalleled firepower and heavy formation support. The Abrams X is packed with features found in contemporary military equipment. It is lighter and significantly more fuel efficient than the current gas-guzzling Abrams tanks since it is powered by a hybrid electric diesel engine. According to its designers, it features artificial intelligence systems to detect opponents and can operate with a minimal crew. However, according to military analysts, the idea faces a difficult road in Pentagon hallways. The potential and danger of tank technology on a contemporary battlefield have been demonstrated by Russia's conflict in Ukraine. Military experts are concerned about how valuable tanks may be in a possible conflict with China, the main rival of the American armed forces. Military critics are also concerned about the use of artificial intelligence in dangerous equipment. It will be challenging for the tank community to obtain resources for a significant upgrade. The Defense Department put Abrams tanks into service soon after the Vietnam War to match Soviet firepower and technology. The American Army, and up until recently, the Marine Corps used the M1 Abrams tank as their main battle tank. The Abrams tank has undergone numerous upgrades over the past century, but it has been dogged by several problems, including being expensive and gas-guzzling and being less maneuverable than lighter armored vehicles like the Bradley Fighting Vehicle. General Dynamics has been working to find solutions to such issues for a while now. The Abrams X, which is still in its development, does not yet have a price tag. The tank is around 10 tons lighter than the currently used variants. Compared to the Abrams tanks now in use by the military, which consumes more than one gallon of gas every mile, 
it would have a hybrid electric diesel engine that would be 50% more fuel efficient. Additionally, the design would change slightly. Soldiers would be seated inside the hull of the tank rather than its turret at the top. The tank's designers claimed that it could be operated by a three-person team, down from the typical four. The Abrams X features improved armor to guard against drone drop munitions. Another significant change to the tank is its software. The onboard artificial intelligence system may be able to detect threats in the distance. If the software detects an enemy tank a few miles away and has about 90% confidence that it poses a threat, it will inform soldiers. The tank can also communicate with unmanned aerial aircraft, which could identify potential threats. The artificial intelligence of the tank could prioritize a target list in combat situations where there are several opponents, but it cannot kill anyone automatically. The human operator of the vehicle ultimately decides whether to engage and how to do so. The Abrams X represents a significant advancement for the military's tank program, but it should be highlighted that top Pentagon officials who are debating the future utility of tanks for the United States will have difficulty approving it. Some lessons can be learned from the Ukraine conflict. Early in the fight, Russian tanks were easily overcome by Ukrainian forces, suggesting that the weapon may not be very helpful today. However, as the conflict has developed, Ukrainian officials have stated that tanks would be useful and have repeatedly requested them from Western leaders. On the other hand, the United States' main strategic rival is China, and a battle with Beijing would be largely fought with naval and air power rather than tanks. Even so, it's too early to tell if the Abrams X tank will be a technological marvel. Complex weapon systems can be a mixed blessing, as the military has learned from other high-tech devices, like the F-35 fighter jet. They're more difficult to maintain, prone to technological failures, and more expensive than anticipated. There are dangers associated with putting artificial intelligence in tanks. Poor data could influence bad judgments in combat, according to experts. Nevertheless, the overall effectiveness of these capabilities in a conflict cannot yet be predicted. All right, guys, that wraps up our videos for today. What do you think about the unstoppable Abrams X? Will it truly revolutionize the Russian-Ukraine war? Let us know what you think in the comment section below. If you found this video useful, please give us a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button as well.